Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. We're gonna go over boilers, uh, GPM and head. In your system, a boiler is a piece of equipment that generates heating hot water and delivers that throughout your system to different pieces of equipment or air terminal units to provide heating to a space um, for occupant comfort. So in your system, you'll have your boiler um, that you will design. That boiler will supply water Take it through a strainer. This keeps your system clean before it hits your pump because your pump is a very important piece of equipment um, that keeps water flowing throughout your system. It'll then go somewhere to a control valve which controls the flow um, at the individual coils. It'll go through a coil and it'll go all the way back to your boiler. Um, at your boiler, you'll probably produce about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, that number is dependent on your system and what your design parameters are. It'll go through your strainer. I'll write that again. That's your strainer. Um, this cleans it out and cleans out your system, uh, prevents gunk from getting into your pump. Your pump pushes all of the water to the rest of your system. This is your control valve and this is a coil. And um, this is a very generic uh, system setup. However, you can look at this the same. This is going to be your longest run pipe all the way to the furthest coil, and then the longest run pipe all the way back to your boiler from that coil. Um, and uh, typically after your water goes through your coil, it does some type of heat exchange and it will return at a lower temperature back to your boiler. So your boiler is receiving 110 degree water and then distributed uh, that water heated back up to 140. It goes to your system, it does some heating into your space and then it comes back cooler uh, back to your boiler. Um, in order to size your pump, you need to know the full GPM required. So you need to know your GPM of your system. And that's the flow of water. And you also need to know the total head. And what head is, it's another uh, term for the pressure required in the system that your pump needs to overcome in order to deliver water all the way back to where the inlet of your pump. Um, that's a value that we also need to figure out. Um, total head, you can get, you need to add up all your pressure drops throughout your system. So your boiler, you're going to get your pressure drop from that cut sheet, equipment cut sheet. Um, you'll go through a strainer. Strainers typically I'll see about 13 feet of head. A pump, I'll, um, that's what we're trying to determine. For the total head, when we size the pump, a control valve, I'll see, so that I'll put a question mark there, um, 13 feet ahead for our control valve. Our coil, I'll say 13 feet ahead as well. Um, so basically, I am setting up these design parameters for my pump. Um, what that means is when I actually get pieces of equipment, I need to make sure that the pieces of equipment are not bigger than 13, do not have a pressure drop larger than 13 feet. So this number is important when you're uh, getting selections for the equipment with the heating coils mm -hmm. in it. Um, and then you need all of those values. So each piece of equipment, you have your boiler pressure drop, strainer, you have your control valve, you have your coil. And last but not least, you have your dynamic friction. So you're gonna add all these up. Let's say our boiler pressure drop is 10 feet ahead, strainer 13 feet, control valve 13 feet, coil 13 feet, dynamic friction. So what is that? Dynamic friction is going to be your longest pipe run. That's in feet times uh, some friction factor, it's a head loss friction factor per 100 feet. Um, so you will want to locate your Cameron Hydraulic Data Book. Um, 
this is where you'll get that information. You'll um, has all your flows and your pressure losses, depending on what size pipe you have. Um, you'll need to add all these up. Let's say you have a two and a half inch, 140 GPM. You're going to have 11, and if you're using type K tubing, you're gonna have about 11.9 feet of head loss per 100 feet. So that needs to be considered. Um, once you get those values, so let's say our longest uh, pipe run, I have 100 feet, and um, the head loss per 100 feet is going to be, let's say that was 11.9, that's feet per 100 feet. Note that this is linear foot, this is also linear foot. I'll just write that down. Linear foot, linear foot. Um, so these will cancel 100, 100, and then you're left with 11.9 feet of dynamic friction. Um, this will all be added up. So when you add all those values up, and I'm not that great at math, I do 10 plus 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus my dynamic friction. That gives me, which I have dynamic friction right here. This is 11.9 feet. That gives me a total value of about 61 feet ahead. Um, so 61 feet ahead, that is what I'm calculating for my whole system. Of course, I wanna do a, um, add a safety factor to that. So I'll just multiply that by um, 10% to give me um, probably about 68 feet ahead is what I'll design my system to. All right, guys, um, that about does it for today's lesson of boilers, GPMs, and heads, um, and how to size your pump. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave a comment. Sus subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting videos about design for HVAC systems and it's just some things that we need to look for and I hope I can help you along your um, journey in learning about this fun industry, I guess you could say, design aspect, okay? Uh, so thank you very much. Tune in next week or in a couple days. I don't know when I'm going to post one, but until then, thanks guys.